Hello. Today we're going to be going over how to utilize your compounded medication if you got compounded medication. When you receive your compounded medication, it will be shipped to your house. You'll receive the medication and then also syringes. Most pharmacies will also send you the alcohol swabs. Some pharmacies do not send the alcohol swabs. The World Health Organization recommends that alcohol swabs are not required if you're utilizing the medication for yourself. So you can use the alcohol swabs or you can use alcohol and a cotton swab from your house or nothing at all. It does not reduce the risk of infection. Side note, I know that that's really weird for a lot of people when we think about sanitizing and sterilizing and that sort of thing. There's many people that do a lot of medical stuff at their house, like they have Foley catheters or they have different types of catheters or, or different types of medical equipment that their risk of getting an infection at their house is much lower than they would if they were at the hospital. That's because you're at your house, you have your normal flora and fauna. So your risk of infection would be much more likely if you were to be in a facility rather than your house. I know that that's just kind of weird for a lot of people to accept, but I can also link the recommendation from the World Health Organization. In this video, we're gonna be going over compounded semaglutide and how you inject that, how it comes from the pharmacy, how you inject it, just some basic things. We have a couple different pharmacies that we utilize for compounded semaglutide. We use Revive Pharmacy and we use Hollandale. Concentrations that we have with both pharmacies are the same, so the dosing chart is gonna be the same for each, but just make sure that you follow what is listed on your vial. When we list the dosing medications on the vial, we usually list the starting doses. So if you have any questions about titrating up your dose or going up higher, you can always reach out to our nurse text line and we can advise you on that. We also send dosing chart and dosing instructions as discharge instructions. So when you get the medication from the pharmacy, from Revive and Hollandale, it will have semaglutide. When you get the semaglutide from Revive or Hollandale, it will have starting out instructions that say to inject 10 units subcutaneously once weekly. That's what we're gonna do. Also on this, you'll want to make sure that your name is correct. Make sure to keep the box or if it comes in a pill bottle, make sure to keep that because it will have all of your dosing instructions on there. And as you can see, the dosing instructions are too long to put on the vial of the medications. I just keep mine in the box or in the pill bottle and then keep it in the refrigerator. It is okay if this is warm to touch or you get it during the summer and it's warm to touch make sure and keep it refrigerated we like to say it's kind of like jelly so it'll last longer if you keep it in the refrigerator this is what the bottle looks like from revive semaglutide it's going to be the same concentration that we also use from hollandale when you get it you're just going to want to flip the cap off like that I'm just gonna address this question because we've been asked before. You do not have to put the cap back on there. You can throw this away. I actually save that alcohol swab because I'll use it when I inject it on my skin. Though you don't have to use an alcohol swab. You can use regular alcohol or nothing at all according to the World Health Organization. Once that is clean, I am going to do my insulin syringe and I'm gonna pull up to whatever units I'm supposed to be using. If I'm supposed to be using 10 units, I'm actually gonna be going, the 10 starts right at the top of the plunger. There's two lines on this type of plunger. You'll wanna go off of where the top of the plunger is. I'm gonna take that, uncap my lid, I'm gonna Dab this. I use my pinky to kind of hold it to stabilize because you're not going to want to bend the needle. The less times that you inject in this vial, 
the better with one single needle because you don't want it to dull or have any issues or bend. Inject that air into the bottle and then I'm gonna invert it and I'm gonna hold it with my two fingers up there and hold it right there. And then I'm gonna pull out, turn it to me till I get to 10 units. So you'll see where the top of the plunger is where the 10 is. And then I will pull it out like this. And then I will use my alcohol swab and clean off any subcutaneous area. I really like to use my stomach. Now you can inject in any subcutaneous area. Real quick, I'm gonna go over this. When you put the needle in the vial, it will be in this dark gray part. Whenever you go for your next week's injection, you'll wanna look at the needle pokes and poke somewhere else, not in the same place that you've poked before. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. When you're ready to inject your 10 units, you're gonna take a picture of it, send it to our office, and make sure that this is the correct dosage that you're supposed to be doing. Make sure that when you do send the picture of it, you send it next to the box that has the instructions on it. So it'll be a picture like this. Once you get verification from our office that it's the correct dose or you're comfortable, you've done this before, that you're taking the correct dose, you can choose a subcutaneous area. I like the stomach, I've always done the stomach. If you're having a plateau, you can try different areas. Another area would be if you squeeze the back of your arm and you probably will need help with that, somebody injecting you there, the back of the arm, the stomach, anywhere that you can get that's two inches away from your belly button. I just like to hold a piece right there, take your alcohol swab, and then once you take your cap off, you'll just push like that and then push your plunger, and then you'll hold it for 10 seconds and then take out. You can dispose of your needles at your local clinic, or if you don't have a sharps box, you can also put in a hard detergent bottle, and then when you're done, wrap it up. It, it would be an old detergent bottle that you aren't using anymore, but anything that's really hard plastic, it's okay to dispose of them in. After that, you'll put the medication back in the box and then back in your refrigerator if you have any questions for us please comment below if you want any other directions or us to make videos about it just let us know we'd love to help you and i hope that you all have a good day